Hey fam, welcome to my channel. My name's Mark and today I'm doing a video on Layer 1X. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to safely remove your X wallet from your browser and then reinstall the latest version of the Layer 1X X wallet on, back onto your browser, which is currently 1.0.8. So the first thing you've got to do before you remove the X wallet from your browser is to safely back up your recovery phrase, your seed phrase, and the private key. Now you should have the recovery phrase or your seed phrase, whatever you call it, you should have that written down somewhere from when you created the X wallet to start off with. So make sure you've got that to hand. So the next thing you need to do is copy your private key. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So I'll come up to the X wallet logo on the Chrome extension bar at the top. And then here you put in your password. Now that you're into your wallet and you're connected, you click on this little cog in the corner. Make sure you're on the right wallet. So you're on the L1X one L L1X primary. Um, I've got a couple just for the purposes of this video. I've got the EVM and non-EVM, but I've got two L1X wallets. Uh, so I'm on the primary. Click on the cog. And then you want to go to show private key. Now here you've got to put in your password again. I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to paste it into my notepad. I'm just going to name the wallet L L1X primary. So the next thing is go to the L1X2 wallet and repeat the same, repeat the same process again. So go to show private key and then copy that into your notepad. So L1X, just name it L1X2. So now you've uh, safely stored away your seed phrase, your recovery phrase, and you've made a copy of your private key. Uh, make sure, again, I'm going to reiterate, make sure you double check your seed phrase. Make sure you've copied um, your private key because if either of those two you, get, you, you cannot get access to, you've not got access to your wallet. So just to, it might seem like I'm going on, but just make sure you've got these securely stored. And personally, for what I do, the the actual private key itself, I've got it, I've got it stored on an encrypted USB device uh, that isn't on my computer. So if I need to get access to it, I've got a I've got a USB device in a safe location. So now we can remove the X Wallet extension from uh, the browser. So you can have a go to the uh, icon itself and right click on it and click remove from Chrome or you can go to the extension and then you can click the three bars and click remove from Chrome and it'll ask you to confirm. I've now removed that from Chrome. So now we can reinstall the latest version which is 1.0.8 and we just add it to Chrome. So now it's been added. Now you just click on the extension again, you pin it, and then we click on it, accept terms and conditions. If you want to read it, read it, click create a new account. And now you just um, write down somewhere securely the seed phrase. And I can't stress this enough, but write it down and double check the spelling of every single word and go over it two or three times, making sure that you've got it in the right order from one through 12 doesn't matter if it takes you um, a minute, two minutes, five minutes, because without without your private key or your seed phrase, you'll never get access to your wallet. So making sure this is done correctly is so, so important. Then click next, and it's just asking you to put in a couple, a few of the different words just to make sure you've brought them down correctly. So one was put in, four was jungle. Five was potato, and then 11 was record. Now you want to put in an email address and a password. And that's it. So make sure that obviously you, you jot down your password so you know what that is. And then that's your, that's your account that's now been created. So the first thing I'm going to do, because this, this is a new wallet, 
I'm going to, I'm going to be importing two new private keys. So I'm going to rename this wallet. So click on the down arrow, click on the little person next to the name, and I'm going to call mine L1X secondary. And I'm going to save that. So now that's been changed. So when I go back here, it's coming up as the secondary. So the next thing we've got to do after we've renamed the wallet, the L1X secondary, we've got to go to the cog and we've got to go to show private key and you've got to put in your password again. And now I want you to copy the private key. I want you to paste this into your clipboard. And just remember the name. So this one is the L1X secondary or whatever you've called yours. And now I'm going to import from private key. As you can see there, um, my wallet, I'm going to copy that and I've got it as L1X primary. Paste that in there. Import. So I've just done that one. So now I'm, I've got the L1X primary there and I've got a second wallet. So I'm going to just get the Get that up again. So my L1X2, I'm going to copy that private key. I'm sorry, when I keep saying wallet, I mean account. Don't want to confuse things. So I'm just going to copy this account, which is L1X2. And again, I'm going to import private key, which is L1X2. I'm going to paste that in. So now this this just keeps it really simple. So I I know that this is my L1X primary account and this is my L1X2. Now by default, the L1X the L1X secondary is the primary, but I've renamed it so it stops any confusion. And just to just to clarify as well, when when I imported these two um private keys, don't touch this. This one is defaulted at L1X. That's what you want to keep it at, just for just for reference. And that's it. So when you when you go back to your wallet view, you need to select which one you want to interact with. So when you're using the L1X app, if you wanted to interact with the L1X primary account, so that's the one that you go to, and that's the one that I'll interact with on the L1X app. And also when Mainnet goes live, you will be able to transfer coins from one wallet to another. So if you want to move your coins about, that's that's something you can do at Mainnet launch. And a feature what will be coming in the near future where you will be able to recover via your seed phrase. You won't need to recover via your private key. That'll be coming soon. So I hope the video helped. I hope it got you through uh, the process of removing your X wallet and reinstalling your X wallet. I hope it saved you raising a ticket on Discord for the mod's sake, as well as yours. And if you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and I'll catch you on the next video.